Um, hello from the Labrador Garden. A little update today. I'm trying a little experiment. Now I know many of you don't believe in the whole grass thing. And I will be honest that I still have a bit of a tendency to go a bit crazy over trying to have the most immaculate lawn in town on the front. But given up on my backyard because I have a 100 pound golden retriever and while 100 pounds you can just extrapolate how much urine he produces during the run of the year and in springtime I always end up with the same dead spots in the same spots heavy traffic areas areas where they pee a lot and last year we lost our this winter we lost our little last apso our little puppy he uh, he died on us this winter but before the year was up he was contributing to these as well and he likes to go around he used to like to go around and pee on the edges and kill all the grass along my fence which was okay I didn't mind that and I'm actually thinking of mulching these side areas just to keep the grass down make it easier to mow anywho I'm just sweating down this is an experiment I'm trying you're looking at maybe the light stuff is the paper seed and fertilizer mix it's the Scots patch master the stuff is ten dollars a bag and it doesn't cover squat um, you're looking at maybe you know 14 feet across here and it's not really spread as deeply as the instructions said it should be it should be spread out a half inch anyway I'm going to see if that goes sprouting any faster then my good old compost with some regular grass seed sprinkled in this stuff is two days behind the professional stuff the expensive professional stuff so uh, a little test we'll see what happens now let's walk into the garden Right into the greenhouse. It's chilly out today. I don't think it's more than six or seven or eight degrees out. It's uh, partly sunny. Excuse me for a second. I need to learn how to edit. You can edit all that foolishness out. Okay. All right, in my greenhouse, um, I've given two applications of compost tea to everything in here, but my tomatoes. I don't know if the video will really pick this up and do it justice, but boy, oh boy, are they ever dark green. They're hugely dark green. And I don't know if you can see in there, but you know what that is. That's several of them. These are container variety Tiny Tim uh, cherry tomatoes. They're determinate, and they're only, you know, bound to grow so far and, uh, you know, genetically set, I, I suppose, to produce fruit at a certain point and I'm I, I can't remember now on the package I think it was maybe 60 days anyway we're starting to see some fruit here and uh, boy they're just looking super super healthy uh, you know look at all the extra growth on my stalks and my stems my stems are huge and that's all thanks to Praxis for sure Ray your your tomato tips are number one buddy flowers so we're very happy oh, there comes the heater it's 34 in here today but uh, that's with the aid of the heater because there's only brief brief bits of sun nasturtium doing very well nasturtiums love compost tea uh, generally I, I have to say that the compost tea has just been super it's just absolutely doing a wicked job the broccoli Lots of broccoli around it coming up. Still no beans in the back. Any day now, maybe. My peas are going mad. That one is. And Olivia planted, and Grace both of them planted beans, but uh, they were out a little early. We learned that our first vlog episode, I guess. And uh, anyway, uh, Olivia's bean. Uh, I chopped off the dead parts and left it in because it still had a bit of life to it. It's taken hold again. And zinnias. And there's my columbine. Still hanging in there. And my snow peas in a pot. Doing excellent. They'll go outside soon when it uh, warms up a little bit. 
we had almost a risk of frost last night. There was a chance of snow even on the forecast. So. And my carrots. I think it's getting uh, about time that I start considering weeding out a couple of small ones maybe or making some room. All of my onion sets are up. My Spanish onions and my red onions. Come along nicely. Starting to see some uh, more bacopa back around my tomato back here and my lettuce. This is Grand Rapids lettuce. And I'm going to take the outside leaves because I see lots of new growth in the inside. So I'm going to have a, la a salad soon and we're going to take some of that in and make a nice green salad with it. And more bacopa. I'm going to get ready now. I'm going to shovel another couple of loads of that into another container or something like that. Just try to propagate it out of here and into a container. But uh, as for the rest of the weeding, it's going okay. They're staying where they need to be. My cucumbers are, are growing slowly. It's still pretty chilly out, so maybe the soil is going to have to warm up a little bit. They seem to be holding their moisture pretty well. I haven't watered them oh, in a couple of days, but the ground seems to be nice and dark around there. Anywho, the Labrador Garden, compost tea. It's two applications now. I have a third batch brewing and ready to go now and I'm going to uh, I've had everything covered up for the rains we've had so everything is dry so I can use the stuff but I understand everybody in Atlantic Canada has been having the same problem all of us growers and um, hopefully the sun will come out I think there's a song in there somewhere okay bye from the Labrador Garden